I'm Ellie Torres and you're watching The Fan Carpet. I'm here at the Italian London Short Film Festival and it's our first edition, so we are going to meet a lot of Italians, a lot of talented Italians, directors, producers, actors, they're all here. Let's see what we've got in store. We have the very beautiful Andrea here this evening joining us at the Italian London Film Festival. It's your first film festival, it's the first film festival. What yeah. was your experience? Well, it was lovely. I absolutely loved the people I met. And uh, I, um, I'm really happy and lucky to um, support my friend Alida. And um, I think I've met some interesting people and I'm looking forward to working with them. Now, I didn't know much about Italian film, to be honest, but I've always been quite interested in the, like, on the side of uh, how they work and what they do. And I'm looking forward to This is what the festival's done tonight, I think, is uh, make me thirsty to find out more about, the, about them and how they work. Yeah, they're Absolutely. lovely. They have been. They've been yeah. amazing. Um, tell us a little bit about your film, Lighting the Darkness. It's a film that um, is, is about quite a challenging subject. It is indeed. Yeah, so we, I don't know, uh, last time we left off at the gala we had on the 25th of March was uh, an amazing event. And again, thank you for everybody who came. And um, uh, from then on, I think we, do, we continue with our script. We had a first draft and now we're working on uh, obviously improving it. Uh, the film's about dementia, is that the correct? The film is about dementia, sorry, yes. And um, we, um, we are having to dread very carefully and we are being uh, hopefully very delicate about it. And uh, we, we are treating it, our, our writers treating it with so much respect and so much um, dedication and love. And I absolutely love how she works. And, uh, and I'm, I'm doing, as a producer, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build bridges, I suppose, with uh, um, charities like Alzheimer's UK and Dementia UK. And are and they able to advise you and, and yes. kind of help you through the, because it's such, it's, it's such a hard subject to deal with. <laughs> exactly. And they give us insight, insight that we wouldn't know, you know, you go on the internet as I started on the, my research and go on the internet and try and find uh, details about dementia and then you know, you have the general knowledge and NHS knowledge and stuff but then if you talk with such people and GPs and, and doctors that work on research you find out so much more things that now my head at the moment is a bit filled with that and I'm trying to select what can be said in our script. Another thing that's happening since we've started working on this film is a lot of people are coming to us and tell us, I want you to tell my story, my, the story of my grandmother, my grandfather, and, and we're a bit again overwhelmed because you know it's no, there's no conversation that goes on without me welling up a bit because it's it, as you said a very touching and very heavy, complex subject, and this is why we're doing the film. But in the same time, we want to say those stories, so I'm trying to, on the side, I think I'm trying to work on something at the moment, which is on the side to have I don't know maybe videos of, of people telling their stories because they really want their stories heard and there's no way we can because it's a narrative after after all our film so there's no way we could include all those stories in our film you know we can maybe give them a tick or something but we can't include all their happenings all their um, um, the, the stories that they tell us so um, we're gonna have that on the side maybe that's um, in early days I don't know how it's gonna work out but that also might raise interest yes. into the actual feature. But this, this is the ultimate, ultimate um, objective is to raise interest um, um, and, and curiosity uh, towards dementia and towards these people that deal with it and also to say to them, as I said in the gala as well, thank you and well done for holding on and well done for looking after your loved ones and well done for being brave when you lose one um, to dementia. And um, so yeah, so the film at the moment is at the stage of uh, as I said, working on the script and polishing it, and then we're going to have, have some workshops. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I was going to say. Our uh, director is going to, because this is how she works, and this is what we need as well, especially for the the actors that we're going to have working as um, um, uh, the actors are going to be playing the GPs and the medical staff. They will need to be work work workshopping this. Yeah, they need to do their research. And this is, exactly, and this is where because we want to help them, but in the same, they will be doing, I'm sure, their research. When on the side, we're going to work shop these things because though we would need to, to kind of build a nucleus and all 
be working in the same... Um, Almost like a theatre production. Exactly. We need to be synchronised and we need to think alike in order for this to work. Because, and of course, they're going on the side and each do their own work. And uh, myself as a producer, as I said, I'm going to try and, uh, and connect everything. And Alzheimer's and, and dementia, this is how they help us with advising us, with offering us the people that want to work with us as consultants. And what's been tricky a bit is people, uh, because they're so busy and they're doing such huge work, it's been tricky to get someone uh, committing to being on the set with us. And I find it necessary to have someone on the set with us advising the actor, you know, this is what is going to happen in the office when someone is told that they have dementia. And it's but I think when you, when you finalise your shoot dates that you'll be able to narrow, narrow uh, yeah, someone exactly, down. Exactly, exactly. So we have someone now um, at the moment working with us and uh, they, that's kind of something that we, we've said, you know, we'll be able to, to give you some dates when uh, when we start shooting and he was only too happy to, yeah, to help. So, um, fingers crossed, yeah. That's amazing. So when are you thinking of shooting this? In autumn, uh, October, hopefully latest November. In London? Yeah. Yes, in London. Yes, it is in London. Um, there is, um, again, our director's been um, um, gearing towards this care home she knows, which is in Norfolk. Uh, which okay, so it might be that as well. So we we'll see. Okay, and how are you doing with the financing? With the, being the producer, having to try and raise yeah. all of the yeah. Well, um, when we uh, when we have everything finalised as um, the script goes and direct and all that, uh, and the crew will know exactly how when the locations will know exactly how much we need, and then uh, part um, sides will be uh, arts council and any other founders that will be happy to to help us and there will be crowdfunding as well because we can't raise the the, um, the whole amount for through crowdfunding it's not possible so yeah so you will be back to talk about it more I'm yeah, sure yeah. you will hear about us again I'm sure yeah well I wish you all the luck with the project and I look forward to hearing more updates Absolutely. on it and it's such an amazing and powerful subject that needs to be dealt with and so many people suffer yes. every day so yeah, you won't believe it and we're very passionate about it and we really Really, really proud to be doing this film actually and uh, you know I hope it's going to happen and I hope we're going to do a good job. I'm sure you will. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's been a pleasure to see Absolutely. you Andrea. Thank see you. you soon. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.